Welcome to the InfoWars Nightly News. It's Monday, February the 10th, 2014, and here are our top stories. Tonight, mayors against illegal guns lose nearly 50 members after plans for gun confiscation are exposed. Then, Obama wants more drone strikes against Americans. And the TSA humiliates another victim. That's next on the InfoWars Nightly News. He had them sneaking around in secret meetings with the plan to register the guns, to confiscate them, to violate the civil rights of all Americans. Well, there's no doubt that the real agenda of gun control is outright confiscation. We see this from time to time surface. We see lies. We see semantics. We see people being trained to fear gun owners and both members of the public and members of the military. Now we have revelations from a mayor who was inside Bloomberg's group, Mayors Against Illegal Guns, the most well-financed and arguably the most influential of the gun control groups. He's come out as a whistleblower talking about what the real agenda is. This story from Kit Daniels, Mayor says nationwide gun confiscation is the goal of Mayors Against Illegal Guns. This is the mayor of Poughkeepsie. He says this group was simply a vehicle for Bloomberg to promote his personal gun control agenda. And under the guise of helping mayors facing a crime and drug epidemic, MAIG intended to promote confiscation of guns from law-abiding citizens. Alex Jones has more information. Ladies and gentlemen, Alex Jones here with an emergency Second Amendment alert. If you get this information out to everyone you know, and if we force the pro gun press to cover this, this can be a major blow against the victim disarmament crowd who all have their own bodyguards and armored compounds like Mayor Bloomberg and of course Michael Moore. This is the political elite that seek to disarm their quarry. Ladies and gentlemen, a major mayor in New York State who was in on the Mayors Against Gun Violence meetings run by Handgun Control Incorporated, the Brady Center, and others, with Mayor Bloomberg, came out and said he left the group because the plan is not, quote, sensible gun control, but registration and then confiscation. Now, I know that most of you out there already know that's their plan. They've done it all over the world. They've done it in New York City, Chicago, anywhere they're in control. But ladies and gentlemen, this is a major blow against them right now because it shows their treachery. Now, remember... The mayor pro tem in Austin, Mike Martinez, last year made national news at a gun rally that we caught on tape. When people had signs saying no gun ban, he said, hey, after we register, we will confiscate. He's part of Bloomberg's national deal right here in Austin, Texas. So just like I told you the Copenhagen documents on global warming being fake and a power grab, just like I told you five years ago that was huge, and we pushed it out there, you pushed it out there, and it literally was like a Death Star being blown up event for the globalist empire, the corporatist, the monopoly men. This can be as big because it shows their plan, as Feinstein said, Mr. and Mrs. America, turn them all in when they say, we're for your guns, just let us register them. Don't have private sales, just let us have a record. We don't, we'll never take them, we'll never take them. Again, this shows the general public they fooled how it's disingenuous. Here is the article right here, ladies and gentlemen. It is so incredibly, so incredibly important. Uh, mayor, nationwide gun confiscation is goal of mayors against illegal guns. The New York mayor says that he left the group over confiscation plans run by this literal seditious subverter. There's the uh, mayor pro tem saying they're gonna confiscate the guns after they registered in Austin that we caught on tape. This story at InfoWars.com needs to go mega viral, ladies and gentlemen, right now. Right now. Now, I'm taking off the radio show today to be with family who's in town. David Knight's doing the show, coming up in just about an hour and a half. Spread the word, InfoWars.com, the audio streams, and, and get this article and get it out to everyone you know. This is huge because it shows their deceit, their sneakiness, the manipulation. We're also going to air this special report on the radio today for everybody before David Knight breaks down all the proof. But this is a big deal. It shows the treachery, the sneakiness, the underhandedness, the deceit. It discredits them, folks, just like Obamacare is a proven scam and a fraud written by these same offshore banks. They are looting us, and they don't want us to ever politically be able to take our country back. They want to use force on us, their homeland security, so they're moving to disarm us because, as the U.N. has said, 
civilian ownership of firearms threatens the legitimate power monopoly of the state. Well, that's called a dictatorship, and it's not legitimate. So again, ladies and gentlemen, there, there is the article right there. Please, please, please get it out to everyone you know. It is so incredibly important that, that, that we don't just let this opportunity to expose these rascals go by the wayside. It is so essential that you get this article out to everyone you know. It's up on Infowars.com. And remember, if you're watching this transmission, you are the resistance. We can beat these people. <sighs> this is a big deal. Spread the word, folks. They're coming for our guns. Be the Paul Revere of the 21st century. You are. In the same article, the mayor of Poughkeepsie pointed out that there's 50 other mayors who have left the group for the same reason. Nearly 50 mayors have jumped ship on former New York City Mayor Michael Bloomberg's Mayors Against Illegal Guns campaign. He says they've left the organization for the same reason I did. Symbols are powerful, and the globalists have hijacked the symbols of America. They've turned them into their own symbols. Well, we are restoring the idea of the true republic, not the counterfeit globalist empire, by promoting the icon George Washington and others. That's why we're rolling out on a 100% Made in America line of incredible pro-liberty apparel. We are repopularizing liberty. We are helping fellow Americans rediscover what made this country great. We are the spirit of 1776. We are 1776 worldwide. We are all brothers and sisters in arms in the animating contest of liberty in the long march towards humanity's ultimate destiny of freedom. Visit MadeIn1776.com today and vote with your dollars to promote truly made in America high quality products and promote the ideals of liberty. 